ETN Prime. Now, with most health facilities around the country focused on battling the coronavirus global pandemic, maternal mortality is becoming a major concern. Expectant mothers are being turned away in some hospitals when they go looking for antenatal care. And our doctor, Skile, an unemployed nurse, has decided to come to the rescue of these women. But how many can she attend to? KTN's Najma Ismail spoke to her. My name is Dr. Smwisia. Thank you so much, Najma. Uh, I was so moved uh, when uh, a few mothers reached out to me and uh, told me that they had gone to facilities, health facilities, yes. to receive their antenatal care, but uh, they were barred from the hospital. So I said, let me help because I am trained, I'm qualified, I have my license, and I'm able to help. I'm in Kahawa Wendani. Uh, this is one of the pregnant mothers, mm -hmm. and uh, I came to see her today so that I could also understand what she is going through. I was to get a tetanus. Mm -hmm. Tetanus. Yes. But but they say they didn't have it, so I had to source it out. Okay. And since I didn't have the money, mm -hmm. I opted to go to another government facility. Yes. The next month. Yes. Uh, whereby I went, but then they turned me down and said I have to go back uh, after two months. That is now this month. Did they give you a reason why? So they just said uh, because my TCA, the next clinic was supposed to be on, uh, on April. Mm -hmm. Then I had to go back on April. When I went back, mm -hmm. uh, with the social distancing thing, then uh, when I got there, uh, the, 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 the nurse who was there just asked, uh, just told us there were quite a number of mothers and then she said, uh, and then we, we asked her, um, at least give, give us the tetanus and you train the home and then she said, Hakuna, me and Amy. Wow. So that is how, how I reached out to Dr. The cases I've come across, at least today I was able to see at least five mothers. Mm -hmm. Still along uh, Kariobangi side, you know, and uh, the story is still the same. Mm -hmm. Most of these mothers, their husbands have no jobs, either they have lost their jobs, yeah. and uh, they just get out of the house to go and hustle. If those mothers cannot be able to be attended to at the facilities, please, is there a way we can see them in their houses? Because like right now I'm telling you I'm not working, Yes. I've had to walk, I've had to walk a long distance because where they live is quite interior, you know, and I could not, uh, I'm not able to afford even a motorbike to get to where they are, they are, they are you know. Huh? It yes. is different here. These mothers have no food. Can we at least give them food? The mother that you've just spoken to, she lost her first child. This is her second pregnancy, you know. And she's quite scared, and many others, they are very scared. We cannot be having health workers in the facilities who are turning away pregnant mothers without having a solution. Can we get a solution to this? Even if we have to see them in their houses.